Mr. Goodman, why don't you start by telling me what happened, and then, Dana, I want to hear your side of the story as well. Okay, Your Honor, I'm here today because I'm very concerned about my daughter's behavior. And, and How old is your daughter? 17. She'll be 18 in five months. Last week, she came to me and she said, Dad, I'm just not happy living here with you and Lisa. I want to I go live with my mom. Lisa being? Lisa is my wife now. Okay. So I called her mother, and her mother said that uh, she wanted her to live there and that they had discussed it and think that it would be a good thing for her. So about a week went by, and it was actually Tuesday of this week, uh, her mother called me at 3.30 in the afternoon and said, uh, we got real troubles with Dana. She hasn't been coming home. She's been running around with boys. We've had to go pull her out of a car full of boys in the middle of the night. Now, but you are in court today because you specifically suspect that she is using Absolutely. And that you're concerned about where she wants to live. So apparently something has happened so that she doesn't want to live with her mother, doesn't want to live with you, but according to your complaint, she wants to live someplace else. Wants, Tell me about that. She wants to live down the street with, some, with a lady named Dawn and her two kids, which I don't approve of them at all. I seriously suspect that the smoking, smoking is going on at that house. Now, how do you know that your daughter is abusing your Honor, about eight months ago, we gave her a drug test, and she came up dirty for marijuana. All right. Dana, at, talk to me. What's going on? Are you smoking At this point in time, no. Yes, I have used before in the past, and now I have too many responsibilities to do that now, and I am willing and ready to take care of myself and live out on my own. Of course, this house down the street, I feel like that is more um, stable for me to be at. Now, it's who, down the street. Who are around. these people? I'm trying to understand um, this. Well, Dawn is like another mother to me. She's been through everything I have in the last four years and guided me and stuff throughout the last four years, and her daughter is my best friend. Your Honor, they're not going to school. School's been started now for, there's been six days of school, and out of that six days of school, she's missed three days already. Is not that true, school. Dana? Yes, that is true, but Why? I was not living at Don's house. I was living with my mom. Those kids at Don's house are all, have dropped out of high school. There's is that true? A, yeah, but so has my brother. My plan is not to drop out of school. I'm planning on finishing. I graduate in January, and I have two classes, half a year, half a day. But that's not what she said two days ago when she called her mom from Don's house and said, I'm dropping out of school. That is not true. I never said that to my mother, that I was dropping out of school. Tell me about your background. I gather, though, even from what your dad says in the complaint that he filed, that you have been an honor student? Yes. Who's who uh -huh. in high I school students paper. across the country? Tell me about yourself. What's happening? What? Well... I guess I ran into trouble, you know, and I did what most kids do. I experimented with drugs, yes, but I feel that my dad is a hypocrite when he's talking about me smoking because, granted, you've done it too. And I've, I've been real honest with my kids. Your Honor, I've done probably several different types of drugs in my day, and I've tried to communicate with them what it's like to do it, the bad side of it, and what it, what, what it winds up getting you nowhere. But you're drug free now? Yes, absolutely. Why is it that you can't live at home? Um, well, we just, not necessarily that we don't see eye to eye, but it, they, they make it too hard on me for me. How? How? The things that they say and do, like my mom won't take me to school, but I have to go to school. She's, Why won't she take you to school? Because she lives in Bloomfield and I go to school in Farmington, which is 15 miles away from where we live. Well, I want you to try working this out. Until right. you finish high school. We're talking about less than six months. What I want to tell you, and I'm talking to you as a parent. I mean, this is a parent talking to you who, who is trying really hard to raise <coughs> teenage sons. That our children are going to make mistakes. They're going to I don't know how else to say it. But the real value is how can we guide our young people to learn from those mistakes in a way that they pick themselves back up and stay on track. However, I am going to insist that the two of you get into family counseling, including your mother, that you should not be down the street with Dawn, that you are going to have to figure out how you reconcile it with your own family. Now, Mr. Goodman, you're going to have to turn the corner on this. You're going to have to forgive her for the mistakes that she has made. But from now until you finish high school and turn 18, you're going to be living in your dad's house. Hear me? Mm -hmm. I expect you in school every day. I'm not going to have you drug tested because I don't think you're abusing right now. Okay. All right, I'm pulling for you. Nothing further will stand adjourned.